Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. So today we're going to talk about everything that's in my hospital bag. I am currently 37 weeks right now and if you see my last video about the free stuff that I got while being pregnant, you know that I have been hoping and praying that I can get this video out before I go into labor. I'm currently having like mild contractions right now and that's okay, we're gonna get through this video. And um, this is my third child. If you've been to my channel before, you know that I have two daughters. They're older, so um, even though I'm starting all over again, I still have some experience about things that you need and you don't need to take with you to the hospital. So with that said, let's get into it. I think I'm gonna start it out in sections, but we'll see, I pretty much have everything all scattered around me. I'm gonna start it off with things that I'm going to take for myself, and then we'll move on to baby. So the first item that I have in my hospital bag is this comfy robe. And I got this at Target. And I figured, you know, if I, I'm bringing other items like a nursing bra and stuff, but um, if I want to cover up a little bit, I can just put this on if I get cold. The second thing I'm going to take is these slippers. Now, I don't plan on taking any other shoes with me. I'm probably gonna go into the hospital with these and leave the hospital with these slippers. It's not really necessary to go in with like your shoes and then you have to carry them around. So I'm just gonna take these slippers. They have a hard sole. I got them on Amazon and I will have all the links down below. Okay, the next item I'm taking is this nursing bra. I got this at Target. And this one has the little clasps right here so you can nurse and then you can just put it back up. The reason why I like this one is because it doesn't have any like, um, what is it, like the hook and eye in the back. Um, I don't really find those comfortable. So I just got this one, it's nice and stretchy and I'm pretty sure you can take out, because I'm not a fan of padding, I'm pretty sure you can take out, yeah, there's a little hole right here so where you can take out the padding. So I'll probably do that like right after so I can just pack it away and not have to worry about it. Okay, the next thing I'm going to take, this looks just like the robe. Um, I got it at Target as well, so I'm pretty sure it's the same exact brand. But this is a sleeper and I thought this would be nice for when I spend that night in the hospital and I'm nursing and stuff, I can just unbutton it and wear like the nursing bra underneath. I have some scrunchies because I know I'm gonna need to put my hair up. I'm not gonna be wanting to bother with like my hair and stuff when I'm, you know, like nursing, carrying the baby. Uh, just in general, I'm not gonna wanna be dealing with my hair. So take, make sure you take some scrunchies because these, even though you don't think that they're really important, these are very important take some scrunchies. Next thing I got was um, just two pairs of some big underwear. So I got these at Victoria's Secret, extra large, and I just figured, you know, I'm gonna need to be comfortable. So I'm definitely going to take two pairs of these. The hospital is gonna provide some mesh underwear for you as well, which those are super comfortable. I'm probably gonna spend that first night in those. If, if I decide to change out of those, then I have two options. So I have the huge underwear that I just showed you, and then also I brought these always like pad and underwear in one. I have no clue how I'm going to be filling. So I might not even bother with the actual underwear and I might just opt for these or the mesh ones that they give you at the hospital. Now also, if you're not a fan of the first bra that I showed you, I'm not planning on taking this one to the hospital. Um, just because it does have that back that I was telling you about that I don't find super comfortable. But I did get this one on Amazon and this is a nursing bra. And this has the little clasp right here as well so you can nurse and then close it back up. And I got this one in a large and I also got it in nude. And I got them on Amazon. They were, they're very inexpensive so I will link those below as well. The cool thing about the Amazon nursing bra, they also give you these reusable brush pads so you can just throw these in the wash and then, um, you know, reuse them. I have now two pairs of these, so I'm going to be definitely getting some use out of those. It's just like a nice little plus. 
And then it also gives you like a little extension for the back. The next thing I'm taking with me is this 10 foot extension cord. Now I've seen a lot of people say, get 10 foot long phone chargers and stuff. Those tend to break. I don't know if um, you've ever used a 10 foot long phone charger, but you buy them, they work for like a week and then they break. So I just decided to get this, especially like with your regular phone charger, cause you definitely need to take your regular phone charger with you. Um, if my fiance wants to be next to me and the baby while we're in the bed, then we can just all be on this one little extension cord. So this is a 10 foot long extension cord and I'm not just going to be charging my phones. I'm also going to be charging my like vlogging camera and stuff. So I just opted for an extension cord. So the next thing I have is my going home outfit and I have the Skims um, like pajama set and this is in Sienna. And it just has the top right here that buttons down, very soft, the pants. And I got them like extra big because I am not putting leggings on. I've seen some people, you know, they're packing leggings and stuff. I'm having a natural birth and I don't imagine myself wanting to put some tight leggings on after. And I'm just going to wear the Skims pajama set home with my slippers that I was talking about. And then I'm also going to pack some snacks and stuff. Um, you know, for the most part, there's the cafeteria and vending machines and stuff. So I'm pretty sure we'll be okay. But because of COVID, I've heard that once you're in the hospital with your partner and you're in labor, you cannot leave the hospital until you're released. So that is perfectly fine. We are prepared. Um, just make sure you have like, you know, your cards, some cash in case you need to use the vending machine or some change you know, whatever you want to do. And um, just like super essential things. If you are very picky about what you're eating, then take, you know, your snacks with you and stuff. I don't want to take a whole bunch of snacks because then I'm going to have to make room for that in my bag. Um, but we are definitely going to take a little bit of snacks with us. And then the next thing in my bag, I have my cards. So just make sure you have your ID, your insurance card, your partner's ID, um, he's going to have that in his wallet, but, you know, just make sure you have all of that on you. So insurance cards, bank cards, uh, credit cards, whatever you need, make sure you have that with you. And then I have my AirPods just in case, you know, like my mom decides to call me and I'm nursing and I don't want to be like attached to the phone or holding up the phone. I have some AirPods handy or regular headphones work as well. You know, whatever works. So I'm going to be taking my prenatals with me. Um, just because, you know, I'm going to be breastfeeding, so I want to make sure that I have my prenatals on hand. And this is the Ritual Essential Vitamin for Women, and it's the prenatal version. I'm probably going to take, like, six out, um, because I don't want to take the whole bottle and have it, like, you know, take up room, but definitely take some prenatals. Okay, so next I have some socks, and I have two options. I have just regular socks and then some non-slip comfy socks. I have a water bottle and um, I'm, my fiance will have a water bottle as well, you know, just to stay hydrated, make sure that we're not getting dehydrated and the whole process and craziness of having a baby. For my toiletries bag, I just have some essential stuff that we're going to use for me and my fiance. Two of these little toothbrush and toothpaste kits, um, some mouthwash in here. Uh, I have some men's deodorant, some women's deodorant, some hand sanitizer, even though you know there's going to be just an abundance of that at the hospital, but still I have some hand sanitizer, um, some soap, just some essentials. And I got this little bag from Pixie um, in one of their PR kits. It's really cute. It says Serena. Thank you, Pixie. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to take that with me and put this in my bag. Moving on to baby's bag. So I have everything that the baby is going to need in this one bag, I think. And I just took like four little diapers with me. There's going to be diapers at the hospital. Um, so I'm not taking a whole lot with me. This is just, you know, in between that little time when we're waiting to leave the hospital, going to the car or from the car. You know, if anything happens, I have four diapers with me. I also have a little travel size thing of Honest Wipes. I have my tripod and my vlogging camera and also my camera charger. I'm going to bring a little swaddle blanket, like a little nightgown swaddle. I have some mittens here, like two 
burp cloths and a bib. Okay, so quickly I was um, editing this video and I realized that I didn't even show the clothes I had for the baby. So don't think I forgot clothes for the baby. I definitely have clothes for him. I have about three little outfits and um, some more stuff. So I just completely blanked. I was having contractions, still am, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna insert this into the video. This way no one's like, um, excuse me, why did you just, you know, give us like 14 options for yourself, but then you didn't put any clothes in for the baby. Yeah, that's all. Okay, and then the last thing I'm taking for baby is just my little handheld breast pump. And I'm going to take my little storage bags with me just in case so I can feed him on one side and then pump with this on the other side. The last thing I'm taking with me is the baby's baby book. And I have a little post-it right here because I'm planning on having Gary ask them when they do the little um, imprint of the baby's fingers and toes. I'm gonna see if they're able to just put that on this as well. This way it's like one less thing I have to worry about. I'm not sure if I'm taking this stuff with me to the hospital, but I definitely got it for postpartum care. And they're going to give you stuff at the hospital like mesh underwear, they're gonna give you tux pads, things like that. Um, but I also got two other things that I will for sure use after the hospital. So I probably won't put it in my bag, but it's gonna be here at home waiting for me when me and the baby get home. The first thing I got is this Frida postpartum care bottle. And this is different in the one that they give you at the hospital just because you can actually put this one upside down and it has a little um, angled nose right here because you're not able to wipe after you give birth so the ones that they give you at the hospital you kind of have to like turn over this one already does it for you and i heard really good things about it so i am going to be using this after the hospital and then the second thing i got were just these little witch hazel pads by freedom mom as well and um, I will definitely be using these after the hospital. So that is basically everything that's in my hospital bag. If you guys have any questions about anything that I showed today, then um, you know just write it in the comments below. If you think I'm missing a vital thing in my bag, then please let me know because I'm probably gonna go into labor tonight. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe and give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And let me know what your due date is and what you're planning on packing. Thank you for watching. Until next time.